In this video, I want to walk through some language that might not be understood by everybody. So the context of this is how do you integrate your literature review into the main body of your research paper? It can be confusing because in many circumstances, uh, the literature review is the main body of your paper, but there are a few different areas that you are leaving out from the literature review uh, perspective. For example, your discussion of the business problem that you're trying to solve, uh, the main point of your thesis, etc. So I want to go through here what I would expect. So let's say that this is what you wrote in your discussion at the end of your, your body, right? Um, this is not the literature section, but you've learned some stuff, you went out and researched, and now you're going to write this, you know, document for your boss to understand something. Now, you might put in, according to information from TIBCO, over 67% of business leaders state that Tableau allows their employees access to data and geographical analysis that was unattainable in previous applications. So, you know, for example, like Microsoft Excel or something like that. Um, that said, the survey indicated that high quality, sustainable, and scalable training programs are critical to the success to successful user adoption. And then we have our in-text APA for meditation. So a couple things going on here. Data and geographic analysis that was unattainable previous applications, which is like, wow, two out of three of them said, wow, the Tableau is awesome. It's great. It's awesome. It allows us to do things we've never been able to do before. Great. That's awesome that you found that information and that you sourced it. And then you further said, well, you know what? That's great. The third said that it's very valuable, but the entire survey did mention how high quality, sustainable training programs are critical. So it's not just enough to buy the software and say, hey, Bill, Mary, come on over here. Step on over to my computer here. I want to show you what Tableau is. We just download it onto your computer. Go have fun. Go, go, go use it. Go get some data. Go do some geographical analysis. That's not enough. Okay, That's what this point is saying. Is saying, well, just leading somebody to water, um, there's a lot of issues with getting them to drink that water, getting them to perform just because you buy a tool. That's what this is saying here. Now, let's say this is in the discussion section of your paper. And these are the main points that you're trying to communicate to your boss after doing all this research. Well, as your instructor, if I don't find this in your references and I don't find a summary of it in your literature review, that's a big no-no. The literature, everything that you put in your discussion at the end of your body should be found in your literature review or in a paper trail that leads from your literature review. Okay, remember the literature review is your research phase of the project. Okay, it's your research phase. We, you know, the literature review, that's that's geeky college language, higher education language. It's basically your research. I went out and dug in on this. Here's the seven articles that I found that really helped me understand what it is I'm studying. And now that I understand what I'm studying, now I can advise my company on what to do. So I would expect a short summary of the article in the literature review section. So this TIBCO article from 2020, I'd like to see a paragraph or two on it telling me, what we call the 40,000 foot view. So when I say short summary, I'm not expecting a sentence on every single statistic. So if this is a statistic, I don't want paragraphs with you typing all 80 statistics that the survey from TIBCO uh, had answers to. No, I don't want that. I can look at that by looking at your reference. I can follow the paper trail and read that thing myself. What I want to know is, okay, what the heck is TIBCO? What did they do? I pretend I've never heard of them before. I never heard of the article before. So I want a literature review, a short summary, um, you know, that gives a brief what we might call quote unquote meta information about the article. You know, in 2020 or 2019, actually, because it got published in 2020, let's say, 2019, Tibco, a consulting company, an international consulting company, did XYZ. Uh, they collected responses from, you know, ABC number of respondents across these industries, asking questions related to technology adoption. The article highlighted the value and importance of a holistic approach to incorporating data culture in the organization. For example, areas such as training, high quality computers, investment in you know allowing employees to learn the software without it being added to an already hectic 60 hour work week, you know, things like that. It's like, oh, okay, so now I understand what that article is about. Now, in this section, in the discussion section, if it was, if that article was so useful to you and it sounds great, um, I better see some of that being used as evidence in your, in your advice to me, which is what you wrote here. 
I'm like, wow, two out of third. Okay, great. A lot, a lot more. The majority of them are like in Tableau. Now you might have in contrast another paragraph talking about Power BI or something, but now I've got this. Like, for example, like, yeah, that's exactly the problem we're trying to solve. You know, we're trying to figure out how we can incorporate more GIS into our teams without having them go buy twenty thousand dollars software from ESRI called Business Map or Business Analyst Pro, things like that. So you're telling me with Tableau, I can do a bunch of stuff, including the geographic analysis. Well, yes, I am, but Forget boss, you've got to have training programs. That is a world of knowledge to me, okay? So when we say 40,000 foot view, we're talking about a summary here where I don't have to get stuck reading paragraph about paragraph about an article when all I needed to know was who are they, what did they do, and did they do it, what did they discover, okay? I don't need paragraph upon paragraph, page upon paragraph, summarizing the TIBCO article, okay? That's what we mean by 40,000 foot view or meta information, like metadata layer of information on that.